country pub in the Gold Coast hinterland, where the cool mountain air offers an escape from the heat. Waiting to greet you at St Bernard's Hotel is a St Bernard. The soft brown eyes of Molly's are a magnet for patrons. Enter this little one, barely on her beautiful big feet. She's just gorgeous, isn't she? A 12-week-old St Bernard puppy. And she's in training, in training to be an ambassador for the St Bernard Hotel. We let the owner, Warren, do the introductions. Uh, this is Sarah. She's recently joined us. Now, Sarah, of course, is the uh, correct pronunciation of Shiraz. Yes. Well, it is a pub after all. Molly and Shiraz are inseparable, whether Molly likes it or not. They share nap time together. Do the rounds to make sure everything is running smoothly before sharing lots more nap time, because that's what St Bernard's do. These two come from a long line of brave hearts. Their forebears were Swiss mountaineers. These dogs were supposed to have a very good nose and, uh, you know, travellers would get uh, lost in the snow and, and the monks would have trouble getting out there to actually find them, so they would send the dogs out to go and find them. And these dogs were capable of actually scenting people who were buried under snow and the, the dog would then dig down and the monks would then be able to haul these people out of the snow drift. So that's what they were there for. They would help travellers in distress. They also have a lot of love to give. In return, they need special care. But when you do exercise a dog like this, you need to take them out on a fairly flat surface. Try and avoid stairs and things like that because walking on a flat surface builds up muscle and that's basically what you need to do. Keep the fat down and the muscle up because these dogs have problems with their shoulders and their hips and the more muscle you can build up, the better the dog will be in the long term. Come on, come on, Shirah. You can have a Shirah after we've finished the exercise. With giant breeds like Mole here, it's so important to have good training established because they are so big, they can pull you over. So to teach the dog to walk at heel, to teach the dog to Molly, sit, good, and even drop. It might be slow, but it works. Shiraz only young, but she's got a lot to learn. She's lucky because she's got a good mentor. And Molly had a mentor too, and that was Leah. In fact, there have probably been St Bernard's at this hotel for something like a hundred years. That's a lot of history. So what's the sort of things that Molly has to teach Syrah? Well, how to be a good dog. Meeting and greeting everyone and making sure they feel thoroughly welcome. As concierge, she works the room with grace and charm. And a look on her face that says, come over here, you give me a great big hug. And then, as maitre d', she paddles on those huge feet over ancient floorboards, between the tables, mingling with guests to make sure the food is up to stand. I think she's doing a great job. <laughs> but wait, there's more. One last and most important duty to perform. Patrolling the premises. After all, who's going to argue with a 60 kilo canine on the move? Warren, thanks very much for a great day. I'd love to shake your hand, but I can see at the moment your hands are pretty full. Thank you very much, young lady. Right? And Molly? Thank you, Molly, dear, for a wonderful tour around the place. Your service has been excellent. But unfortunately, she does lay down on the job sometimes. Catch you later.